Hey, MTB Trigger here, and I'm back with another Xfil Bootcamp video. Today we're going to be talking about leaning and peeking in Escape from Tarkov. So there's a few cool things that you can do with the different key bindings. So the controls that I'm going to use, if you're in the game or you're on your main menu, uh, find the settings menu, which is located in the bottom right when you hit escape or you're on the main menu. And the keys that we're going to be using today for leaning and peeking are the move right and left keys, default A and D. We're going to do smooth lean right, smooth lean left, which is default as holding alt and then hitting A or D to lean smoothly left or right. And then the actual lean keys E and Q. So one of the key things when we're talking about leaning and peaking is just sort of FPS vernacular. So oftentimes you will hear other players, if you play in squads at all, talking about peaking, meaning I'm going to peak the enemy. And there's a number of ways to do that. And so it's kind of synonymous with the game and how you use the keys, but it's not always a direct key configuration when someone says I'm going to peak them. So I want to show you the different things you can do in Tarkov, but I also want to talk about what it means to peak another player and the strategy behind why you would do that. So let's start with the basics. So if you were running up here and the area I'm on for reference is in the office area of factory. So if you want to know exactly where I'm at, there's this big hole in the wall right here. And I'm standing on the staircase right above it. So the basic thing you can do is if you think there's an enemy down here, or you don't know and you just want to be the safest possible, you know, without strafing or without leaning or peeking, what you would do is hold W and then turn your mouse like this. Now that's going to get you up here, but it leaves you exposed because of the amount of time it takes you to turn and also where you end up. Because if you do this, you end up in the middle of the hallway. So there's any number of places an enemy could target you from. So the most basic way to peek would be to strafe. So your D and A keys move you back and forth. So when you would come up the stairs, you would face the direction you think the enemy is most likely to be. D and A. Now, I talked to you about somebody saying they're going to peek the enemy. So you may hear something like shoulder peek or pixel peek. And what a shoulder peek is, is simply this. It's when you just barely peek out and you're just trying to see if you spot somebody. You're not necessarily trying to shoot them. So it's a very good strategy for seeing if somebody's holding the hallway and maintaining a lot of cover. So if someone says they're shoulder peeking, they're staying on the wall and they're just trying to gain information. Now a pixel peek is going to be more terrain related, but it's more, it's basically, um, you want to hold, like, if you think there's a guy right here or they're going to show up here, it's basically just standing exactly where this little tiny pixel or small area is going to show itself and making sure that they can't see anything else but your head. So if you think someone's going to walk right here, this would be a good example of pixel peeking where you're just holding the tightest angle possible. Other things that you will see would be an example like on this side of the hallway. Another way to peek in Tarkov is to actually use your uh, speed and the lag of the server to run across the hallway. Now, a keybind that I didn't mention before was free look. So that's default as your middle mouse button, and I rebind it to my Alt and Shift key. So if I'm running across this hallway while holding Alt and Shift, I can actually look across while I move. Now, a lot of people will use this and look and run while they do it. So you're just, again, it's another shoulder peek type thing, but you're not doing it to shoot. You're doing it to gain information, okay? So those are the kinds of peeking you can do. So now let's talk about leaning in Tarkov, the actual keys that you have available to you. So Q and E, just kind of tilt your head, right? Head and shoulders, back and forth. 
So where this gets really powerful is if you're here and you're trying to look down the hallway and you can't see it from here and you don't want to expose yourself because you know someone's down there, hit E and you lean to the right and you may see somebody peeking their head right here. The, the same is true as if you're in a doorway and you think someone's in the hole, you can just lean out instead of strafing entirely into the hallway. So Q and E for that. Now, the coolest thing about Tarkov, in my opinion, and the thing that everybody should use, is the smooth lean and get used to using this. So let's say you're crouched, and you think somebody is on this end of the hallway. They're on the left side. Well, if we're leaning out and crouched, notice how exposed we are. We have, a, we have the two doors that could potentially see us and the person at the end of the hall. So by holding Alt and then hitting A, you actually smooth lean back and we can eliminate some of our exposed area. So you can create really tight angles by using this smooth lean key, or if you wanted to hold the hallway right here, again, you can create all kinds of different opportunity for yourself there. Now, let me show you a little bit of an advanced technique that is kind of sneaky, but it can come in handy if you're pinched by multiple people or you're just in a scenario where you just need to hold one really tight angle. Now, keep in mind, you can lean while standing, while crouched, and then recently, Tarkov added the ability to lean while prone. So let me show you a cool spot that I've died to a few times, is a lot of people will come running in the hallway here, and there's this little area under the office. And these areas exist all over Tarkov. This just happens to be one of them. So if I prone out right here, and I get mostly behind this cover, and then I lean, I'm a little exposed here, but I have good view on the doorway. But if I now smooth lean back to the left, I can reduce my angle of which someone can see me to this tiny little window. And if somebody runs in, I'm going to have the ability to just unleash on them as they try to run through the door or run by. Single fire. Yikes. That's how you can use the prone, the lean, the smooth lean, all together, right? You can use all of these things together. And there's so many different areas that you can use these on. You just need to be aware that peaking and leaning are very different concepts. But all of these keybinds together can be used to gain a lot of information on the enemy. So search for places to lean. Search for places to uh, peak. You know, if, if you start figuring out that the way you like to play has you ending up in an area like this, don't stand here looking at this little hallway if you think people are going to come up there. Use shoulder peaks, you know? Use lean so that you're not totally exposed. Use the soft lean or the smooth lean to just eliminate some of your exposure. So let me know how you use this. If there's a place that you like to, you know, prone and lean or you have a great way to peek that I didn't mention here, let me know in the comments. But this is designed to get you out there using the keybinds that Tarkov has for you. Good luck out there. Hopefully this helps. We'll see you soon.